and welcome to Buffy and Crochet. I want to do a quick tutorial um, to show you all how to make this uh, this beautiful blanket that doesn't take long at all. Um, this is it. As you can see, it is only double crochets. You have two double crochets. You skip a stitch or chain one and you have two double crochets and then on top of each other you you double crochet um, it's very easy you can work this up in a weekend depending on how big you want to make this blanket um, and for this blanket I used a uh, Lions brand um, it's a, a tweed I picked up at Walmart but you can use any color you want this is a, a, a six, a super bulky, um, and I am going to show you how to, to make this using a six super bulky, um, and I'm going, but I'm going to be using a red, but the, I think the tweed turns out pretty. Um, you can do any color that you would like. <clears throat> so let's get started, and I will show you how I made this this blanket um, you can you chain to whatever width you want your blanket to be and then once you chain it to the width that you want um, you can then begin working uh, you want to use an odd odd number uh, in your in your in your chain uh, so I'm going to I'm going to chain 21, and uh, we'll go from from there. Um, I believe I chained over a hundred on on the blanket that I showed you, but it just depends really on the width that you that you want your blanket. So let's chain 21. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So I have chained 21. And before I, I continue, uh, let me show you what I am using. I'm using this Burnett uh, Softy Chunky. It is a six. Whoops, that's upside down. It is a, no, it's not. It is a six, super bulky. Um, this calls for an eight millimeter hook. And uh, and then I just have a pair of scissors to, to cut and fasten off. So I have... Chain 21, like I said, just uh, just make your chain a, an odd number, um, and uh, from there we are going to count back four four chains. One, two, three, four, and I'm going to double crochet in the fourth, and I will show you why. So yarn over, go into the chain. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Um, by skipping those first three chains, that gives us our first, it will count as our first double crochet. And so then we have another double crochet here that we just made. <clears throat> so that's why we double crochet into the fourth that gives us three chains on the end okay so now after we have after we have uh, double crocheted into the fourth chain from the hook we are going to skip the next chain which is right here and we are going to double crochet into the next one so 
Here's the next chain, and we're going to double crochet into the next one. Yarn over, insert your hook, grab your yarn, pull through, pull through two, pull through two. There's your double crochet. And into the next, don't skip one, into the next chain, you want to double crochet again. Double crochet. Very good. Okay, so this time we're going to skip a chain. We're going to skip a chain and we're going to go into the next chain. So we're going to do double crochet and we are going to do a double crochet in the very next chain. And once we have those two, we are going to skip a chain and we are going to double crochet in the next two chains. The wonderful thing about crochet is once you get the pattern, you're, you're just off and rolling. Okay, so that was two. Now we're going to skip a chain and insert the hook. Double crochet and another double crochet. All right, we're going to skip a chain and into the next one, we're going to double crochet. There we go. And double crochet in the next chain. <clears throat> and then we will skip a chain and then we will Double crochet. Whoops. And double crochet into the last two chains. Okay, so if you look at this at the very beginning, we had a we skipped the first three chains, which gave us a chain three, which counted as a first double crochet. And at this end, we will now chain three. One, two, three, and we will turn our work. And if I pull this apart, you can see these double crochets. Okay, and I will, I'm going to double crochet in the top of this next double crochet, the first double crochet beside of my chain three. I'm going to go into the very top of these and I am going to make a double crochet. Okay. And we are going to chain one. And I'm going to double crochet in the tops of the next two double crochet. Right in here. I'm going to go right through these two. And I will go right through these two loops for my next two double crochet. So I've chained one, going to double crochet, and double crochet. And I will chain one. And into the next two, into the very top of the next two double crochet, I will double crochet one in each. and chain one. Very simple. Again, into the next two, 
double crochet, double crochet, and chain one. Again, double crochet, double crochet, and chain one. All the way to the end. Double crochet, double crochet, chain one. And into the last double crochet, I will put a double crochet at the top. And in the chain three, I will put a double crochet into that top third chain So I end with two double crochet. And that is your pattern. All the way up. Chain three, turn your work, double crochet into the top of this one, chain one, double crochet, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, double crochet, <laughs> chain one. And you just keep going. And it will make a beautiful, beautiful blanket like this afghan that I made. Um, it's warm, it's thick. I think that you will like it if you want to make something for yourself or if you want to make something for someone else. Um, and if you need a quick project or if you need a quick blanket to make or a quick gift, um, I think it's very pretty. You could also alternate colors with this, if you want to do so many rows of, say, red, so many rows of a different color, you could do that. Okay.